Brothers and sisters, <clears throat> this is the second Juma of Ramadan. And by now, we have gotten used to the routine of fasting. However, it is very important for us not to go into the state of what they would call automatic pilot. Now we're used to it, we just flow. Because the fast has both an external aspect, we could call it the body of the fast, as well as an internal aspect, which we could call the heart or the soul of the fast. And as a human being cannot exist without both body and soul, the fast does not become a reality unless we combine the outer custom, the outer tradition, the outer rituals, with the soul, the goal of Ramadan, this fast. So it is very important that we stop and reflect and ensure that the goal, the soul of Ramadan is being worked on, is being fed, is being put in its correct place. And as the soul is most important to the body, we can say in, in a sense that our essence is the soul. We can lose an arm, we can lose a leg, but we're still here. So the essence, our essence is not the body. Our essence is the soul. So similarly, in the case of Ramadan, it is important for us to keep that foundation on which everything else is built, which makes all of the various rituals of the fast meaningful which gives them the ability to change, to help us to change psychologically, emotionally, intellectually, spiritually. So we do need to remember the most primary goal as identified by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. Not the consequence of philosophical reflection, but the clear message which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us when he spoke about fasting. Clear, direct. Not requiring in any way questioning or searching, researching, digging, it's straight. The religion of Islam is clear. As Prophet Muhammad وسلم, had said, Taraktukum ala mahajjatin bayda. I've left you on a clear white plain. Layluha kanahariha, whose night is like its day. Just as things are clear in the day, it's clear in the night. All aspects of Islam are crystal clear. La yazigu anha illa halik. And whoever deviates from that clarity is destroyed. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us very clearly in the Quran, Ya ayuhal ladheena amanu, 
kutiba alaykum as-siyamu kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun or oh, you believe fasting has been prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you in order that you develop taqwa taqwa being a consciousness of Allah being the third stage of Islam we know Islam is built on five pillars the declaration of faith fasting salah hajj zakah these basic pillars of Islam and beyond that there are pillars of faith six and beyond that is the level the highest level of Islam which is referred to as Ihsan Ihsan coming from Hassan Hassan means good Ihsan goodness the purest form of goodness goodness which is a product of worshipping Allah as if we saw him as if he were visible to us and we know how we would worship if we saw Allah And if we can't achieve that, then we worship him knowing that he sees us. And again, how would we worship if we really were conscious of the fact that Allah sees us? Surely it would be different from the way that we worship on a daily basis there are times when calamity strikes in our lives and at that time we turn most sincerely to Allah and our prayers our acts of worship change in their quality but this is the way that we should be worshipping all the time. Not just when calamity strikes. That is Ihsan. That we try to establish that on a continual basis and not just when we have an emergency need. So fasting, as Allah declared, is described to develop that consciousness. That fear of God's displeasure. More so than the fear of God as we would fear a lion, if it escaped from the, from the zoo and we saw it coming running towards us, we'd be scared. That's one kind of fear. But the other kind, the higher level, where we fear Allah's displeasure, we don't want Him to be displeased with us, as we feel towards our parents, but on yet a higher level. This is the soul of Ramadan. This is the goal of Ramadan. And this is what we need to keep ourselves conscious of, continually reminding ourselves throughout this month that this is the goal.